cool shot of the geese. This is a trapping video, folks. If you don't like trapping, just, you know, go check something else out. Um, I'm going to be trapping critters on this video, so i give you a heads up. Yeah, that's kind of pretty. Alright. Let's get moving. Got a nice little field here. Uh, some folks planted some garden here. Got fenced off to keep the deer out. Anyway, this gentleman gave me uh, the key to the gate up here. Wanted me to trap some beaver and stuff out. And uh, I set this field up here and we got a nice bobcat. Nice spots on this one. That's a uh, Tom. Decent size one too. Just a dirt hole set. Number two bridge or dogless. That's uh, the second cat of the year. And that is nice. On we go. Oh boy, had to show this because it's just sad. Got a possum over there and a coyote set. And a possum right there and a predator set. Awesome double. Don't usually show the possums. That I'd like to give a couple shout outs. Uh, Lance Prouse. Um, he does some rabbit snaring videos and traps some mink and some other critters. And also to uh, Adam Craig Outdoors. Um, he does hydroponics, he raises chickens, he does trapping. Adam does a little bit of everything, so uh, if you folks don't care, those guys could use some subs like the rest of us, uh, go check them out. So. We'll get on down the line, I'll take care of these uh, critters. On we go. An old logging road here. Going down to a flat where they used to... Uh, Park logging equipment. I set up a dirt hole here at the base of this tree and got a nice little male gray fox here. This thing was asleep when I walked up on it. Um, one and a half bridger, offset jaws, just a dirt hole set, red fox urine, and uh, um, I think it was beef and blue cheese dressing I had for bait. The blue cheese is the secret. On we go. It's a nice little fox. And back here almost on top of the hill on this old contour. Had a cubby set over here in the brush. Uh, beaver carcass for bait. And got a nice big tom there. That is a big bobcat. <clears throat> that's a Bridger 1.65 I bought a couple of them to give them a try and uh, you can see a good catch on that cat and that's a nice one pretty good spots too so, on we go folks I caught a red fox oh, you can barely see it because it's overcast and it's just getting daylight, but that's the first red fox that I've caught in this part of the world in probably 30 years. I mean, I was in high school, so it's been a long time, so that's nice. You get it out, it was a dirt hole set. Sorry, my camera's getting wet. i got to get it out of the weather. Got a bank den set up here. Looks like there's something in it, but the water's come up. I don't like the air bubbles. Oh, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. Oh, man. That beaver is freaking huge. 
Whew. That is a nice one. Yeah, I just had a bank den set up here. This in here has been avoiding my sets. So. Yeah, that thing's massive. Let me get it out of here and have a look. Well, there it is out on the bank. That's a good one. Always make sure when you set traps that they're as far away from your transportation as possible. <laughs> yeah, I gotta carry this guy ways, but yeah, all part of it. Onward. Well, there's a better shot of the red fox. I know this is no big whoop to uh, people that live up north and places where there are red foxes, but. That's the first one, like I stated before, that I've caught. I figured it up, it's 37 years. It was the winter of 79. I thought the coyotes had wiped them all out. So. Too cool. Alrighty, let me show it dry. It looks pretty good. Back down here on this uh, property, they gave me the key to the, the gate. Uh, Wanted some stuff trapped out of here. They had a dozer road coming up this way and going up the holler there so they can get up in there and deer hunt. And uh, I set up a dirt hole set here the other day. And we got a yoke. And this is my first one of the year. Like I said, I've got a late start, but uh, I usually have three or four anyways by now. But, uh, that's a big male. I uh, just had a dirt hole set up against that hump of dirt there they pushed that. But, uh, number two, Bridger Douglas. And some uh, meat and blue cheese and some red fox here. So, that's one. I don't think I'm going to hit 17 this season, but uh, we'll see how it goes. On we go.